Hello, let's talk about operations with radicals. Okay, first and foremost, when we talk about radicals, one thing I like to say is that we treat radicals like variables. And what does that mean? You know, if I said what's x plus x, there's those are like terms that's equal to 2x. Why is that equal to 2x? Because this is 1x and this is 1x. So we add the numbers that are in front if the variables are exactly the same. If I said what's 1x plus 1y, you wouldn't do anything. There's nothing to do here because the variables are different. That same logic applies to radicals. If the number under the radical is different, I can't add them, at least not right away. So this does not become you know, 48 plus 3, which is the square root of 51. That's not how this works. Instead, what we want to try to look for is a way to simplify this or to pull out some numbers so that I can find maybe the square root of 3 somewhere in here. And that comes down to the product rule. Okay, and again, the product rule, the quotient rule, they all depend on your, for lack of a better word, memorization and recognition of perfect square factors. So 48 does have a perfect square factor. Okay, 48 is 3 times 16, or 16 times 3, however you want to write that. I'm just going to keep writing this 3 radical 3 over here. There's nothing to simplify with this. And this 3 is attached to this radical 3. That's worth noting. Now this becomes the square root of 3 using the product rule. The square root of 3 times the square root of 16. Okay. And the square root of 16 is 4, right? So I end up with the square root of 3 times 4 plus 3 radical 3. This is still a product, so I can't take one of these pieces and do anything here. I'm going to simplify this. Multiplication is commutative, so even though I wrote the 4 after this, I can write it in front like so, plus 3 radical 3. Now when we look at it like this, the two radicals that are involved in this problem are exactly the same. So imagine if this said 4x plus 3x, I would say that's 7x. So I would say this is 7 radical 3. I do not add the threes that are under the radical. I do not call that the square root of six. Same idea, right? 1x plus 1x is 2x. I didn't change the variable that was in this space. I just wrote it again and said, hey, I now have two of those, right? So I'm not doing that with the radicals. I'm not, you know, I say I have four radical threes here and I have three radical threes. That means I have seven radical threes. I don't have seven radical sixes. That's not how it works. Okay. So we can add radicals if the radicand, remember that number that's underneath here is called the radicand. If the radicands are the same, we can add and subtract the value, uh, the values that are in front of those.